Hey guys and welcome back. So, um, let me go ahead and get this message out. Let's see what my dad is talking about because this is going to be a warning for someone. Okay, you all definitely need to be careful, especially this weekend. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. Y'all are doing too much. Like, you're doing too much to people. Um, like, to, to people, you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, to them, you working and all that shit, it's, it's too much. You putting in hard work, it's too much. You living your life being happy, it's too much. Living in your truth, is too much for someone. Somebody, um, they can't take it or something. I don't know. Somebody is definitely trying to bring some kind of harm to you physically. That's a lot. I don't know if I want all them cars. Let me see. My right damn. I'm oh, sorry, y'all, too, so I'm not really feeling it. Oh, but let's see what's going on. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. Sorry about that, y'all. So we got Heart Chakra coming out. Allowance here, okay. Transition, change, healing, okay. It's like somebody is just, they pissed off with the, um, energy that you're in this healing energy remembrance here you may you may something may click is what i heard in your mind alchemy delight authority y'all be careful with the police and shit i see somebody getting held up by the police or something okay perception so something you may see something you may hear I'm, I'm getting the word visualized. I'm getting like vision. It's something about something that you've seen or something you will see or a scene. Like somebody may try to cause a scene with you. I don't know what the fuck this is right here, fam. Masculine. I ain't going to cap you down. But I feel like somebody is trying to bring some kind of physical harm to you. Somebody is literally playing games. Yeah, patience. Somebody is playing entirely too much in your energy to feel. And it's all due to jealousy. I do want to say that. Okay, here. This this person is extremely jealous of you. Yeah, deceit. This is what I'm saying. Somebody is like patiently waiting to deceive you. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person has been sitting in the background plotting. Because they're highly jealous of something that you're doing. This is about whatever you do for work. Or it could be regarding this man holding the heart. I don't know. This is like a fatal attraction. Like a, a crime of passion or something like that. Y'all definitely stay strapped is what I want to say. Like, nah, for real. Stay strapped. Community. Then you got our angel Ariel here. So I feel like spirit has been warning you. Something is leading up to something else. But you will be victorious. I'm just here to warn your ass <laughs> that your intuition is right the fuck on point. Door to personal healing and happiness here. I feel like somebody is trying to show up to your house. Somebody may be trying to show up to where you work or something. It's, it's something about somebody trying to catch you off guard. Yeah, all because of whatever you're doing for work. You're getting money. It's something about uh, you getting money. Something about whatever you do for work. It's a very jealous feminine energy here or a masculine. Like this person is extremely jealous of you. Somebody is trying to cause something to happen. It's chaos. Like, yeah, y'all be careful going out. Don't be afraid to live your life, but just be careful. Because I'm seeing somebody like in a robe, like, um, this, it seems like some occult type of shit right here. I don't know what the fuck this is. Yeah, this is all due to envy. Envy, spite, jealousy, envy. Our angel Chamuel is here. This is a very, this is going to be very specific for someone. Attachment, okay. Journey. Yeah, this is because you're you're in your purpose. Somebody is trying to take you off, like for real. I'm not even kidding you. 
the thinking woman it's a it's a feminine energy behind this somebody is all titled somebody's trying to cause something to happen with your car i heard rio rio okay somebody named tia or tika or something like that somebody name definitely is jermaine or gerald okay but it's like you're walking your path let me tell you what you're doing you're literally minding your fucking business. You're walking your path. You're doing what God told you. And these fools are jealous of that. They're highly jealous of you. I do want to tell you that, fam, masculine. You got some people that are jealous of you to the point where they want to take your life. Somebody is plotting some dumb ass shit. You got three, four, five, six archangels out here. The only one missing is Uriel. Where is Uriel? Let's see what Uriel is guarding. Uriel got to be back here somewhere. Let's see what our angel Uriel is in this deck. Ugh, that's my soul over many blessings. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uriel is here. Okay. Oh, shit. All of the... Wow. So, all of the damn archangels are out here. I'm looking like I don't see no archangels. You have every archangel out here. Every single archangel is out here for you. Everyone. This is serious. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Divine feminine, divine masculine. But somebody is playing motherfucking games. You have all the archangels out here. No, Metatron is missing. Where is Metatron? Okay, it's Metatron. My angel of communication. So there's some kind of communication that's being blocked. You could have either blocked communication with this person or they're trying to block off communication from you. I feel like somebody's... Look. See? It's something about your family. It's something about a family dynamic. So Metatron was the one that was missing. My bad, Metatron. Let me put some, some respect on your name. Because all the R Angels is out here, but our Angel Metatron ain't. Okay. So, Divine Film, Divine Masculine. You got all these, but still and all, you got all your R all your damn R Angels is basically out here for you. Okay? It's some kind of divine intervention going on. Um, it's, it's something that somebody, somebody is doing too motherfucking much. And I mean, like they're doing too much because they're mad at you. They're, this person is mad at you because first of all, you speak truth. You're gorgeous. You're handsome, whatever the fuck, you know, you just real with the shit and you just do you. I don't feel like you have really any friends. I don't feel like you bother nobody. I feel like you go to work and you motherfucking buy your business. You go home. Somebody don't like you for that. Somebody is literally trying to bring harm to your life. Somebody's trying to show up at your house. Y'all might have been finding shit outside of your home. Shit outside of your door or something like that. It's something here about a dog. Okay. Round and round. I feel like somebody be going like round, like around in circles, like around your building. Like if you live in an apartment, somebody might be circling your building or something. You're going to notice this. Co-create here. You got yin. So it's something here that you're working on and somebody don't want you to reach a certain level. It's this could be somebody that was sent by your family. This is that fucking hitman energy again. These fucking fools. You know, soulmate. This is somebody definitely from your past. Somebody is planning some kind of attack on you. Maybe this weekend. I don't know. Y'all be careful with these uh holidays and celebrations. I keep telling you all. Family, friends, I don't give a damn. I don't care. Y'all need to be careful what the fuck you're drinking, eating, where you're going, what you're smoking, popping, snorting, whatever. It's just truly best to not do none of that shit. You dig a rule? Because somebody is playing fucking games. Straight up. Somebody is trying to bring a lot of chaos and conflict to your life. Somebody's about 33 years old. Somebody named Jaleesa, Okay. But you have a leg up because you are very, what, intuitive. And you guys listen to your intuition. But it's like somebody is literally sitting in the back. I'm literally seeing somebody that had been watching you for about two months. Y'all heard the sirens or two weeks. Let 
mending here, fork in the road. Somebody is trying to have you break down or something. Somebody is trying to literally have you break down or um, somebody going to try to short see your house or something. Bro, I cannot make this up. No place like home. Are you kidding? Somebody is literally trying to show up to your fucking house and bring shit to your door. TikTok here. It's something significant about TikTok. I don't know what it is that you do, fam masculine, but trust me, you're in this new life energy and a higher power is here. My dad, God is here for any type of fuck shit with these people. I'm telling you. So I'm going to get ugly for somebody. I feel like people is playing too many motherfucking games with trying to feel like they can control and manipulate shit in somebody's fucking life. These people out here don't have anything to fucking live for. Nothing. All they got is enough courage to risk their fucking life for something that they can gain. And they never even obtain the shit. These folks always get their head knocked the fuck off. Somebody is trying to literally take your life. Literally. And I mean that shit with so much seriousness. You dig a root? Building blocks. Because you guys are... These people have had stumbling blocks their whole life. You're building blocks. And any stumbling blocks that you've had in your life, you took those and you built shit with it. You dig a root? Like somebody is just completely jealous. Somebody is trying to bring harm to you. To your physical fucking body. They're trying to bring harm to your physical body because they're mad. Girl, sit the fuck down. Nigga, sit down. Fuck is all this jealous ass bullshit, bruh. And that's the damn truth. I'm just trying to tell you. You nigga rule. This shit right here is whack. This person keeps they gotta keep regenerating plans. No, no, no. We gonna wait. We gonna wait till this date. Or no no no. I couldn't get them that time, so we gonna get them next time kind of energy. It's like somebody is fixated on trying to come take your life before your blessings come in. Somebody is literally trying to take your life. Milk and honey, yang. So you got yin out here and yang closing the spread. So whatever this is, fam masculine, I'm seeing the motherfucking ambulance here. I'm literally seeing the ambulance. I'm seeing police. I'm seeing all kind of shit. It's something that's going on. And this could be some kind of event. I don't know. This could be some kind of uh, event that's governed by, you know, security. Uh, maybe it's a bunch of fucking undercover uh, police officers doing security or something. I don't motherfucking know what this is. But I do know that somebody is playing games and they're trying to fuck with your livelihood. Somebody is dead set on, you know, harming you. Nah, for real, for real. Especially something about this weekend. It's something about this weekend. Something about Labor Day. We. It's all because somebody is just, this, this person is very insecure with themselves. I feel like this person is hiding something and they're trying to take this shit out on you. Yeah, mental conflict. This person is, in, in fact, something on, it's something with this person's right hand. You're going to see somebody with a cast or something is going to be very significant about their right hand. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? What's up with you kind of energy? Or somebody could be hiding their right hand. Somebody could show up at your door with their right hand behind their back or something. Or if you see somebody walking around and one of their arms or something is behind their back, bro, you need to be very vigilant. I'm just trying to tell you, you need to be cautious. Don't just go looking for shit. You're going to see this shit. I'm just trying to tell you the Bible rules. Spirit got you. But it's somebody, somebody is, um, something is going to be very shocking and scary. Okay. Somebody is going to be shook. It's like, it's like God going to save your life right in front of your eyes kind of energy. Ain't shit going to happen to you. But somebody is definitely trying to get very close. Somebody is so desperate that they're trying to come to your fucking house with something. Patience. I keep telling you. Because you're being recognized and rewarded for something. For whatever you're doing for work. This person is completely jealous because of what you do for work. April the 14th. Somebody named Maisha or Marilyn. Marion or something like that. Marquise, Marquisa, Marquita, something. Stay your ground. <clears throat> Destiny. July 10th. July the 14th. October the 7th. October the 15th. January the 9th. February 3rd. E. This right here is crazy. Yeah, you got authority here. This person right here don't even understand how this shit finna tr completely like turn on them. This person is... They working with other people to try to bring some kind of harm to you, but it's not going to go that way at all. 
I feel like the initial shock of whatever this is, because it's like you're going to have to react solely off of your intuition, your wisdom. And a lot of y'all already know this is coming. You've already had a dream. A lot of you all read tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. Third eye chakra, like I said, you've already saw this. 56 could be significant. I heard Landon. Landon, okay. Landing. Landing strip, masculine film. Y'all be careful flying as well. These days, the days that we're in, you just have to be careful, especially when you're chosen, bro. It's so many people that are watching you all and you don't even recognize it. You know, these people be simply trying to get to you because they got shit to hide. You know what I'm saying? These people don't like what they are doing in their lives, so they try to ruin yours. I heard it won't be going down like that. That's what Spirit just said. It won't be going down like that. Emotional withdrawal. You have a spiritual union here. And you you might have... I feel like for a lot of you all, y'all let y'all past life. Somebody might have literally killed you in a past life or something. You're back. This lifetime is for vengeance. Like, you you won't get everything, God, I promise you. Maybe your last lifetime, you didn't stand in your purpose or your power or something, but you are this time. Yeah, you're not moving. You're not going no fucking where. You're not going nowhere. Especially not until you complete this fucking mission. Straight up. And it, a lot of you out, it's with a, a person. It's with a certain person. This is a bitch or a nigga plotting on you that don't know how to fucking be single. That don't know how to keep their fucking legs closed. They dick in their pants. This is somebody who has no self-control at all. Meanwhile, you're over here resting and rejuvenating, trying to figure out what the fuck you want to wear today, trying to figure out what the fuck you want to do today, what you want to eat today, because you got so many damn options, and this person ain't got no options. They ain't got nothing but ops. Everywhere this person goes, they make a fucking enemy is what they heard. Emily, somebody named Emily, Cortez, Kevin, okay? Anissa, Anissa. Child by with the bullshit. These, man, I'm trying to tell you. Throw chakra here, passionate. I don't try to tell you this is the truth. Somebody is being fucking deceptive towards you. And somebody may be trying to get you to come out. Bro, if your intuition is telling you don't move, don't fucking move. You need to be listening to your intuition at this time. It's a lot of people that's getting their shit. And they're trying their best to have something, um, you know, not fall on them. July 20th, these people don't want to go to prison. They don't want to go to prison for the shit that they're out here doing to people. The fuck? So they would much rather, you know, flip the shit on you. And see, I done put these cards up there where they don't even belong. They belong down here. So, yeah, it's somebody trying to set something up. They're trying to put shit on top of something. Like somebody is, is trying to manipulate something here. Yeah, sacrifice. Somebody is trying to get in your fucking way. They don't even belong here. But spirit gonna get their ass right together. I'm trying to tell you the vibes. You being, and this is what be getting me too. People always doing all this extra ass shit to try to be in the spotlight. They want all this shit, all this. Bro, you do not know what the fuck come with that shit. You, you don't. Base chakra, you don't even know what come with all that shit, bro. All that fame, glory, and money. You don't know what the fuck come with that shit. It's a lot of mental conflict and disruption that come with that shit, bro. Because another motherfucker can't never mind they business. They can't never sit the fuck back and realize that they need to mind their own business. They always in your fucking business. Always trying to take something from you. Page of Swords, I can't make it up. Somebody's stalking the fuck out of you. Somebody literally be riding around where you live. <clears throat> this person is extremely jealous of you and your path or something like that. This person wants you completely gone. And this definitely got something to do with the person that you're dating or something. I don't know what the fuck this is, fam. Masculine. This person is trying to set up some bullshit for you. But see, the thing about it is this person had been staying incognito is what they heard. This person is planning on ambushing you. And the damn thing, Shane. I still keep that thing right up under my shirt. Okay. But I tell them I ain't playing because it's all for the games. So somebody get hurt, boy, you finna get hurt. Put them in the dirt. Boy, you better catch me first. Boy, you finna get murked. Put them in the dirt. Boy, you better catch me first. Straight up. Who is that? T.I.? The fuck? 
Hit a damn thing, Shay. I still keep that thing. Right up under my shirt. Better tell him I ain't playing. Because it's all for the game. Let's have somebody get hurt. Boy, you finna get hurt. Murk. Put him in the dirt. Straight up. Somebody gonna get they shit blowed off playing games. Ask for what you want. Be honest. This is all because you're living in your purpose, bro. Literally. And I feel like y'all people don't even bother nobody. This is what gets me. Because y'all don't bother anyone. Look. It's a sacred union you have here with somebody. And two, y'all masculines and femmes, I understand why y'all be staying. I, I, I totally understand why you stay reserved, why you don't just let someone know your identity. I get why y'all be catfishing. I do. Y'all motherfuckers are of high status. I get it. Because you always got somebody in the background. These people be tapping y'all phones and shit. They be keeping up with your every move. Y'all know what I'm saying? First kid. With uh Sinbad. I'm saying that movie. First motherfucking kid. Somebody in this bitch is presidential. This motherfucker, whoever this is that be watching me, switches out phones every day, it seems like. This motherfucker got so much bread. Phil Maskin, y'all folks got so much paper. Whoever you are, whatever you doing today. You're going to get a whole new phone because it's like somebody always tracking your movement or something. It's something about tracking. Somebody is always in your fucking business. But this is about whoever you're with or, you know, I feel like somebody is just trying to make sure you're not with someone. But I don't know. I don't know why the fuck they're so goddamn bothered about this. Knowledge means change. Oh, they're so bothered because they're trying to take this person's life. They're trying to take your life for money and you're nowhere to be found. But they're stalking you or they're stalking your person. They're trying to take something out on this person. Manifestation. That's divination. Sorry, what the fuck am I talking about? So you got manifestation. Look, somebody's always watching you. Be careful like where it's a lot of trees. I'm seeing somebody like literally in the trees. Like somebody... The fuck is this georgia the junk george like what the fuck is this tarzan now nah, george george georgia the jungle strong as he can be watch out for that tree okay it's my name george you have a gift somebody don't somebody is completely trying to make sure you don't make it to this somebody wants you to be on your knees crying losing or or they want your family members like this morning over you that's what this person wants this person will lost their motherfucking mind if they think that's what they're going to get. This person is truly, this person here, man. If you were a person that was just doing everything wrong, maybe this would affect you. But whoever you are, you are in your purpose. You won't be touched. A hair on your head won't be fucking touched. As soon as these people try to gravitate towards you, I'm telling you, they're going to get their shit blow off. I'm telling you. And whoever the fuck you are that be watching me, you need to definitely make sure that you 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 need to make sure you stay the fuck away from that person if you want your life. Cause everybody's not gonna play. That's just how I feel. It's some it's some people out here that just not gonna play about themselves. Somebody just feel like they can set you up or get you vulnerable and just take your life from you. Gatekeeper spirit is right here. This is what. This is what I'm trying to figure out. These people been trying to do this shit for a very long time. Literally about two months. Like, they've been planning this for a minute. And it ain't never worked in it. Wow. You know what I'm trying to say right here? You dig a rule? Child, this shit right here real stupid. And you will, the, it's the reason behind it that's pissing me off. This person is just mad because you're living in your power. Because they ass is not shit. And they're getting caught up in their actions. And they're trying to take it out on any goddamn body that they come across. This person is paying a lot of money for this. Little boy blue reverse. Oh, they might be mad because it's coming out that a child. A child ain't this person's. Uh-oh. This is a motherfucking karmic. A karmic ass bitch that's supposed to serve karmic justice. Like, bitch, you, you supposed to be going through karma, ho. You're a karmic. The fuck is wrong with you people? You're a karmic all day long. It's no doubt about it. You're a karmic as fucking hell, fuck. This motherfucker, this motherfucker be tracking every device you have, everything you got. Basically, they be tracking. You dig a rule? 
They watch everything you're doing. This person is trying to steal. Like, they want money from you. It's something about money. It's always about fucking money, bruh. Motherfuckers that really got bread, bruh. They do not. They don't make that shit their first priority. Because motherfuckers know how people get with money. Like, what the fuck? Motherfuckers act like they ain't got shit out here. And even when you act like you ain't got shit, these motherfucking people still are jealous. You can literally have nothing and these people will still be on this stupid shit because it's your light. These people are very, very bothered by your fucking light, bro. Straight up, bro. I'm telling you. Magical help is on the way. I'm telling you. As soon as these motherfuckers feel like they're going to come anywhere near you, spirit going to knock their shit back. I'm just telling you. Or this is you. I'm telling you. But see, some people will take that risk. Some people will without knowing who the fuck you are. Somebody is completely refusing to see your ranking. They're refusing to see how high you rank. What the hell is this dumb shit? Why do y'all people always submit to evil ass shit, bro? This is evil. Who the fuck wants to be in this energy? Every day you wake up, you going around lurking for somebody to rob or kill. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. That shit lame. Y'all people are losers, bro. You're losers. You think this person's life ain't more valuable than yours? Who the fuck you think you are? Because you got money? Somebody feel like if they got some money and you may not have a lot, that they could just come in and take your fucking life as if you have no value. You got more value than this person. That's why they're highly jealous of you. Like I said, be careful. They're trying to come to your door. A lot of y'all got ring cameras and shit, bruh. I'm telling you, you're going to see some weird ass activity on your ring camera, bruh. Some something about this damn energy I do not motherfucking like. Y'all people ain't got shit else to fucking do, bruh. This is old. God damn, bitches. Niggas, do something different. Like, you know, be a decent fucking person. Who the fuck walks around and plans shit like this? I'm so fucking tired of people. You see somebody living in their motherfucking life purpose and you trying to come and take their life from them? Man, hell no. Feel masculine, you definitely need to be using your intuition all the motherfucking time. Straight up, bro. I can't even cap you down. I do not like this motherfucking energy. And that's the Ace of Swords truth. I do not like this fucking energy these people are in. I really don't. Somebody is 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 refusing with the Eight of Swords. They're refusing to see that you're in your life purpose and they can just stand the fuck down. If somebody is afraid of something being revealed, I feel like these hoes and niggas need to stop doing fuck shit in the background. Motherfuckers make it up out the mud. How you motherfuckers can't survive? This is what I'm saying. Why y'all people struggling so goddamn much? Motherfuckers done been sleeping on the ground outside. Let me just tell you, God will bring you out of a situation. So why y'all people got so much bad luck? Why you need so much fucking money and you not going to do shit with it? Why are you so fucking money driven? What are you doing with this money here? Bitch, bye ho. Bye bitch. Bye nigga. This shit old as fuck. This is old. I'm trying to take this person fucking life because they're living their life. <clears throat> Bitch, you don't got nothing to do. Seven of Swords reverse. Like I said, as soon as somebody try to come your fucking way, this small young dumb ass niggas and some old ass bitch. Ten of Swords reverse. They won't touch you. They won't do shit. They won't try to tell you. First of all, y'all are two and two or two. Period. You're two and two or two. Somebody trying to follow you where you be going out to eat and shit or, you know, follow you to a gathering. Somebody want to easily take you out, like, by slipping some of your drink or your food. I know a lot of y'all birthdays are this weekend, bro. Be careful, bro. I care more about your life. For real. Fuck is you talking about, bro? I'd rather you be safe. I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on this weekend, but be careful. High priestess, I'm telling you the vibes. Look, Ace of Pentacles with this Queen of Wands reverse. Masculine, that's the truth. You better be fucking careful. <laughs> this bitch right here is out for blood. 
Because she wants money from you. This hoe got a whole life insurance policy on you. Whether you know it or not, I feel like you may know about this policy. But this bitch wants you to expire way before it's your time. Because they know you're leaving them. And you may have kids with this person. But these ain't your motherfucking children. And this person knows it. You dig a rule? This person has completely fucked up y'all relationship. But they're trying to take it out on you and it's feminine. Yeah, page of cups. It's something about kids. Something about work. It's something about wish fulfillment. And this person is stalking every move you make. I'm hearing somebody say, yeah, I'm going to let them think that I forgot. I'm going to let them think. But y'all ain't thinking about this at all. A lot of y'all don't even know these people. Four of ones. You're just simply working. There's the devil and the fucking top. Bro. Child, fam, I say, you better listen to what I'm telling you. You better listen to what the fuck I'm telling you. Somebody is trying to take your life. This shit right here is crazy. It's irritating because they try to sneak attack you. But this is what I keep trying to figure out. Y'all people are ninjas. Y'all are little. Bro, you are literally. Somebody is literally a ninja in this bitch. And I'm not even exaggerating. Somebody's a fucking sniper. Y'all motherfuckers got some kind of technical training. Or street training or something. But you are like you are very dangerous. That's the truth. I know exactly what I feel. I heard Cambodia. Somebody playing motherfucking games right here, bruh. Somebody is like closer than you think they are. But it's like you won't see them coming because they were taking a while. Because they had been sitting back like watching something. They had been sitting back planning something. This is a sneak attack. You don't even know these people. You, bro, you don't even know these people. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody is jealous of you because somebody is interested in you. They could have seen you out with somebody. Like, this could literally be... You could have been out with your new person, right? And they have an ex. They ex might have seen y'all out together and followed you. And started stalking you and wanted to harm you from that. And then found out what you did for work as well. And they got mad at that. And they want to take your life for that. What the fuck, bitch? Sit your raggedy ass down, ho. This is a raggedy ass bitch. King of Pentacles. It's all about this King of Pentacles and his fucking money. This is why I tell y'all, don't be motherfucking materialistic, bro, because you don't know what the fuck comes with money. It's nice to have money and be able to pay your bills and shit like that, but when you got this Ace of Pentacles, when you in millionaire, billionaire status, even in the hundred thousands, these motherfuckers get jealous and try to take your life for that shit, bro. We see this every fucking day. Every day we see this shit. Every fucking day. Somebody's getting their life taken over money. Over jealousy. Envy. Two of swords reverse. Justice reverse. There's an injustice here. Somebody's trying to call to you. I'm telling you, that shit gonna end so horrible because these people won't ever come towards you. And when if they do, these people will never in their life get away with whatever this is. This is brazy to me, bruh. Cancer energy, Libra energy here. Aquarius. Somebody is extremely jealous of you. They're, I mean, they're jealous of everything about your foundation. Because it's God. And these people don't love God. They don't know God. I can't make it up. Your foundation is God, bro. Could be a Taurus here. Taurus, Cancer, Leo with the sun. Libra, Aquarius. Capricorn with the devil. For sure. I heard mixed breed. It's something about a dog. It's something about a dog. Y'all be very careful. These people are sly. Somebody is like driving around your neighborhood or something. Walking around, driving around something because they, they have people doing this. I heard you go on that side. I'll be on this side. Somebody trying to walk down on somebody. This is crazy. I heard the wee hours of the morning. Y'all be careful, bro. Being out late at night and fucking yeah. six of ones. It's all because you're victorious. Don't ever live your life in fear, but always be alert. You dig a rule school? Don't ever live your life in fear. And like I said, stay strapped. Period. You see anything out of the way? Anybody try to come in your house? Anything? Anything like that? Do what you gotta do. That's what I'm saying. Protect yourself by any means. 
Because somebody is playing motherfucking games. But I feel like motherfuckers had already been watching these. Like, the police is watching these fools. These people are so dumb. Like, they're being watched. It's something about your path. It's something about what you had been doing the last year. Something in the last year led up to this event. Or maybe last year you didn't celebrate your birthday and you said you were this year or something here. It could be something like that, fam. So it could be dealing with a Sag as well. But it's something about the last year of your life that's it's leading up to this time right now. It's something about the time. These motherfuckers are blocked. This is crazy. I heard another attempt on your life. These people keep doing, like these people, bro, spirit be saving y'all from shit every day, all day. You're guided by spirit. I can't make it up. Six of swords, your fucking family doing this. They're sending people to you. It's like they try to get the raunchiest bitches and niggas. They trying to get the raunchiest motherfuckers that ain't got shit to fucking lose because they can't do shit to you with spell work. They keep trying to slay you with spell work and it's not working. These people are trying every damn thing to take you out because they're lying, they're stealing, they're cheating. Period. The seven of fucking cups causing illusions. Acting like they love you. These people don't fuck with you at all and you don't fuck with them either. So it's an even exchange, bitch. Which is none. My name is Trina. So my name definitely is Maurice or Marquise or something like that. This bitch right here is stupid. Whoever y'all hoes and niggas is, y'all hoes dumb. Y'all niggas is dumb. This whole plan is dumb. Yeah. I really would caution you. <clears throat> trying to play with their family this masculine. Because <clears throat> you're putting your own life in danger. I don't give a fuck how many of you motherfuckers trying to come at this person. You're never going to touch them. You can mark my words on that. You won't ever touch this person. Hermit reverse. Could be a Virgo here as well. These people don't even know themselves. And they definitely don't know who you are. These people don't even know you. They don't even know your rank. These people refuse. They don't know shit about you. They just take it. I heard murder for hire. Somebody just took money to stalk you, follow you around. And try to do something to you. But these people don't even know. Y'all people are on government watch lists and shit like that. Y'all already got people watching you all for other shit. These people got people watching them for other shit. Like, you're, all your movement is being monitored. This shit is so dumb. It's so dumb and tiring. Like, really, get a life. Bitch, get a fucking life. Nigga, you need to get a motherfucking life. I promise you, as soon as you think you're going to touch this person... This is crazy. People throw their lives away every day. Like, you just throw your life away. Bitch, you don't got nothing to live for. This person does. You don't. You need to figure that out with yourself. Masculine, make sure y'all checking y'all jets and shit. Like, whoever y'all masculine is that got y'all be flying solo, private, and shit like that. Y'all make sure y'all have y'all shit checked. Like, for real, thoroughly. Have all y'all shit checked, bro. Somebody is on some bullshit. Somebody is literally doing some bullshit. It seems like while you're traveling or... I don't know what this is. Somebody dead. I'm seeing somebody walking out of a barbershop as well. Y'all be careful, bro. Be fucking careful. Somebody in this bitch love jerseys. You have a jersey every team or something. Because I'm seeing this masculine with a different jersey on now. So Celtics jersey. This masculine got a bunch of jerseys. Or you could be a basketball player or something, bro. Y'all folk need to be careful. Especially with other fucking people. You got sudden wealth and a gift here. You can't just be hanging around anybody. Because I feel like whoever you are, you're at a status in your life. You can't trust no fucking body. Ain't nobody your motherfucking friend, bro. These people are easily persuaded is what they heard. We, Yeah, something about a child. I'm telling you, this person you're married to, this child is not this masculine. Bitch, you know damn well this is not this motherfucking masculine child, ho. You know this ain't his child. Bitch, are you trying to take his life? Bitch, you should have motherfucking... Girl, you should have aborted this child, ho. The fuck wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with y'all bitches? 
This is a hoe right here that don't want to work. I heard Christina. Christian or something. Yeah. This divine masculine has a lot of knowledge about some. Masculine film. I see why y'all motherfuckers be incognito behind these fake pages. I do. I'm not going to lie to you. You can't really let nobody know who you is, bro. These people, first of all, they get starstruck. And these people don't know how to act around a fucking celebrity. They don't know how to act out here. These motherfucking people weird. You know how I talk to such and such. Ooh, such and such hit me up. Man, bitch, shut the fuck up, ho. These people can't keep their fucking mouth shut. I see why y'all folk don't talk. I see why. Because I know for a fact, it's a lot of motherfuckers with a lot of paper that watch me. And I don't give a fuck who, who, whoever talking about, bitch. I know what the fuck I feel. Y'all people are definitely of high status. Y'all people be scared to come in and shit. Motherfuckers won't even come out the bushes and say hey to Shanita motherfucking ass. Even though we saw family, they would never speak to me because it's somebody always tracking shit, looking in the comments. Y'all bitches and niggas are losers. That's crazy how a person got to live their life like that. You can't even be social or do anything because you're of high honor. Whatever this is you do for work, you have made a name for yourself. Seem like y'all people are isolated from the world, but the whole world knows you. That's crazy. But people want to be that way. They don't understand. Everybody is a human being, bro. People have feelings. They have things that they want to do for fun and shit like that. Motherfuckers can't even go out and have fun without a camera being in their fucking face. This bitch right here is not even privileged, but she wants the gift of being privileged. What the fuck, bitch? You need to sit your raggedy ass down, ho. Period, sis. This bitch is so on this masculine dick. But never sucked or fucked him good at all. But you all on his dick all of a sudden because he you want his money. Man, bitch, sit your raggedy ass down. I keep hearing the word raggedy, okay? Yeah, somebody named Rachel for sure. Rachel. And Rachel is sleeping with your friends. What the fuck is this shit? Bitch, sit your ass down. You're in the community fucking on everybody. This hoe don't want something to come out about her fucking on everybody. Because she going to look bad. When this DNA test show that this is not this masculine child, oh, this bitch going to be looking real stupid. Because whoever this masculine is, is a great fucking fortune. I'm trying to tell you the vibes. This bitch is in despair. She want to take everything from you because she been taking dicks. <laughs> is what I'm saying. That's all this bitch been taking the dick from these other niggas but want to take everything from you and you truly did love this person. That's fucked up. This bitch don't require nothing from these niggas. This bitch get dick slapped in her fucking face and shit, but she don't require a payment from these fuck niggas. But you want to take all masculine money? The fuck wrong with you, bitch? This hoe ass nigga trying to get fam killed, knocked out for, for her motherfucking money because he out here eating everybody ass and pussy. And then you want to motherfucking come home and try to beat the shit out of fam. Nigga, fuck you. Mature man reverse. These people, man, I'm telling y'all, bro. These people did. People are getting desperate, is what I heard. We. Somebody's name is definitely Ricky. Somebody's name Pamela, Angela, okay? Tamika. Hmm. Somebody's name Braylon. 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 Brandon. This shit weird. And they're working with other people to do this shit, bro. They're paying a lot of people for this. Like, they had been paying somebody to surveillance you. It's like they had the perfect plan, but they didn't know that that shit was going to flop. You are not the fucking one. Somebody is literally trying to catch you off guard, but you're never not on guard. Y'all need to be careful, like I said, traveling. Whatever this is. Somebody thought they plan was locked in. This shit is not. Girl, that shit is about to backfire. This shit is going to backfire horribly on all these. This whole group of, it's a group of people stalking you. But under the command of this hoe or this nigga, I heard Beverly. You going to see a nigga ass in a hoodie and it's how they fuck outside. Like, what the fuck? You may be married to this person. It's like they're trying to wait till you go out of town or somebody's trying to slip something in your drink before you drive out of town. They want you to be drowsy. Masculine, fam, do not trust nobody. If you are driving somewhere, do not eat or drink shit from no one. I'm just telling you. Fast. I don't give a fuck. 
You don't need no coffee that bad. You don't need nothing that bad. And the energy on shit can tell. Like, bro, let me tell you something, masculine. Y'all need to learn how to listen to your intuition. A bitch can bring you a plate of food. When you grab that plate, you can feel spell work in that food. You can feel the energy on the food. You dig a rule? You need to learn how to listen to yourself. This bitch right here is a fucking thief. She's trying to steal from this masculine. But you won't be doing shit to this masculine, bitch. Nigga, you won't do a fucking thing to this feminine. Look at this whole spread. Thief, marriage, wealthy man here. And then we have coffin. But at the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> coffin is in the reverse. Bitch, you're trying to steal this person's life from them for money. Let's just talk about the truth of rule, bitch. Y'all some desperate losing ass bitches. And I don't see how the fuck this masculine ever got involved with you, hoe. Oh, you did spell work. This bitch want to be suddenly wealthy living in this big ass house. You know, this, this bitch right here is all about money. Like, this, this is all that this person, all that they think about is money. And they, they it never crossed their mind to, you know, get a job or anything like that. I mean, they, they never wanted to go to school or get a trade or, you know, nothing. They, they, they didn't want to do that. That was too much like fucking right. And masculine, y'all need to be careful spending money on these hoes. These bitches get motherfucking comfortable with that shit. And then they try to take your life when you want to leave. These hoes will marry you to get benefits from you. And then try to off your motherfucking ass when you want to leave. Because they mistreating you. These hoes sucking and fucking on the first night all the way up until the first or the second goddamn month of the marriage. And then now all of a sudden they don't want you anymore. These bitches been cheating. They been some liars and losers. And you niggas is the same motherfucking way. But I'm talking about divine fucking masculine. You got a bitch right here that's just completely jealous of whoever this is that you're with. This is about your divine feminine. This bitch has been stalking this person. And you too. Look, I told you they're a fucking thief. They're trying to have you robbed. This idol. Whoever you are, you're an idol. It's my name, Carrie. Charlotte. Somebody's in Charlotte. That masculine got a clean ass Celtics jersey. Whoever that masculine is can dress like like really well. I heard Jason Terry. Who was at the house? Yeah, you got a crazy house jersey too. This masculine can dress like a motherfucker. And you smell good in here, masculine. Damn, I'm hungry now. You making me hungry with this damn uh, scent you be wearing. I don't know what the fuck that shit is right here, masculine, but that shit smells good as fuck, boy. And I know it's expensive. Y'all folks just out here living your life, bro. Don't let nobody take you off there, motherfucker. Don't let nobody play you off these streets, bro. These people are getting desperate. I'm telling you. It's something about somebody's right side of their body. Either their right leg, their right arm, hand, something. You're going to notice this immediately. Your intuition is going to go the fuck off. Why you think people be doing so much spell work on y'all? Crown chakra. Because they don't want y'all to see these fucking attacks coming. Karmic friends. Whoever it is. They, they, I'm telling you, these people be in the comments. And y'all folk don't be saying nothing. Whoever you is, you watch a lot of tarot. Or you could be a tarot reader. And somebody is trying to bring harm to you or something like that because it is masculine. Because they're mad that you're dating this masculine. What the fuck? Bitch, I feel you need to mind your motherfucking business, hoe. This bitch right here cannot impersonate you at all. They could never. This person has been cyberbullying you and everything. This is sad. That's why self-worth, bro, your self-worth means a lot. If not, you'll be miserable just like these kind of people. And then you'll be resorting to murder. <laughs> the fuck? Because somebody don't want to be with you because you're fucking inconsistent and you're insecure. Bitch, these are all problems within you. This don't got nothing to do with nobody else. 
A nigga can leave me today or tomorrow. That shit ain't finna make me love myself less. Maybe we just wasn't meant to be. Uh, maybe we just wasn't meant to be. Why people can't look at it like that? Maybe you just was not meant to be with somebody. If something was meant from God, you'll be with that person. Y'all hoes are too dick dumb over a nigga, bitch. Y'all niggas is too pussy whipped over these bitches. You need to sit the fuck down somewhere and love yourself, bitch. It's a lot of motherfucking divination going on. A lot of tarot card readings. It's a lot of. This person gets a lot of readings. And they're chasing you, trying to get some kind of photo evidence. I told you, this person might have saw you out. They were chasing you, masculine. They were they were following you or film. This person was following you, maybe trying to run into you, but then they saw you meeting up with your person. And they started stalking this person. Yeah, they're mad because this masculine is into you. This bitch be leaving her children at fucking home by themselves just to stalk this feminine. This bitch done completely went bank fucking rug. I can't make this up. Broke ass bank rug. They went bank rug, like following you around, paying people to follow you around. This is also your family doing this shit too. I feel like you got a lot of people trying to plot on your life. Threatening here. You got more than one person that's looking you up and trying to ruin your reputation, period. And whoever this is has a horrible reputation or they will when somebody find out that this child is not this masculine. I feel like masculine they need to put this shit out in the public. Because whoever y'all live, bro, y'all folks is in the public. I, anything you do basically is news. People can't wait to make a bag off of y'all shit. Dust it off here. Somebody can have a makeup line here. Or oh, this person wears a lot of fucking makeup. This is a flower face fucking bitch. A funeral home face bitch right here. Straight up. That's always going around lying on your motherfucking name. Trying to play goddamn games and shit that's played the fuck out for. Like I said, somebody's a basketball player. I feel like somebody dead ass play basketball. Someone named D'Anthony. Jaquez. I keep hearing that name. Same shit, different day. Wolf and she's clothing. These people fake as hell, fuck. Scarcity tactics, cyber bullying, man. Come on with this bullshit, bitch. This person's a spiritual goddamn hater. They hate everything about you and your person. These people are desperate, I'm telling you. And this is all about money. Somebody is trying to make sure they're financially secure. They don't want to be alone. And they're fucking your friend, too, or your, your brother or your sister. You're acting cold with them. They're fucking somebody in your family. Yeah. Spirit ain't gonna waste no time putting these folks on their shit. Romantic love affair, like I said, they're sleeping with somebody that you know, and then they got the nerve to stalk you. What the fuck? Bitch, why don't you wanna be with this person? Y'all bitches cheat with the fucking worker. You cheat with a nigga that ain't even got shit going on. How the fuck you gonna cheat on the executive, on the boss? You cheat on the boss? These people shit block this hell fuck. These are a bunch of karmics, okay? That's ignoring the fact that they're getting their karma. They're getting bad karma. The bank and masculine is getting good karma. You're getting bad karma, motherfuckers. This is what I'm saying. Somebody is literally like outside of your home, watching everything you do, or outside of this person's home. Masculine, this person may not know where you are, but they know where your person lives. Because this person... This person had, they seen you out. Let me tell you what, what happened. They saw you out with this person, and they said, fuck you. I'm finna follow them. And they started getting obsessed with this damn person. Whatever you may have been doing with them. And then they found out this person may have been into spirituality or something as well. Child, what the fuck? It doesn't, why don't child hoes and niggas mind your business? I can't imagine a day of me just worrying about somebody else. Bitch, I be too into myself. What the fuck? Excuse me, but then again, I am a Virgo, so I mean, we always gonna be the artist of Virgos. Virgos are, if minding your business was a person, it would be me. It would be a Virgo. Nah, dead for real. We block out everything and everyone, and we don't give a fuck. Anybody can get cut the fuck off when it comes to our peace. Somebody is completely distraught. That you're not having nightmares. They were trying to come in your sleep and hurt you that way. Somebody was trying to bring some kind of bad karma to you. Trying to flip their karma onto you that way. That didn't work. Everything is 
backfiring. And this person is literally trying to physically bring harm to your life, bro. It's going to backfire horribly. Don't worry. But I'm just telling you to be very vigilant because it's a like karmic that's stalking you. Whether you feel like somebody watching your ass or not, I'm just trying to tell you. This is not to scare you. This is to alert you. Somebody's trying to bring danger and harm to your life, okay? It's not going to work. It is just not going to work. I'm telling you the shit to look out for, okay? Be very vigilant and be very focused all the time. Don't ever let your guard down, especially when you're not in your comfort zone. When you step outside of your comfort zone, you need to always be armored. With the armor of God is what I'm saying. Plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family all the time. And rebuke and, you know, cancel all these negative thoughts and people. And the thoughts of people that's negative towards you. You dig a rule? You have to fight these kind of people in the spirit. You have to let God take care of this. But your physical body has to be present in receiving messages. And receiving your instructions from God. You dig a rule? So I hope that this helps you guys out. Remember, God loves you and so do I. See you next time.